May 15th. Today is World Stroke Thrombectomy Day. Stroke thrombectomy is one of the most exciting, gratifying and magical treatment option that is now available for acute ischemic stroke patients with large vessel occlusion. What is endovascular thrombectomy or mechanical thrombectomy? It's a simple procedure by which the patient is taken to the cath lab. A small catheter or wire is passed through the blood vessel in the thigh, the femoral artery. A stent retriever, which is actually a stent which is attached to a wire, is passed through this catheter and the clot is grabbed and pulled out along with aspiration. After which the blood flow is restored and for maximal benefit it has to be done within 6 hours ideally and up to 24 hours it has been found to be useful. For the interventionalist who is doing the procedure it is one of the most exciting and gratifying thing that can happen in a cath lab. The patient with a large vessel which is occluded, the middle artery which is occluded and a large area of the brain which is devoid of blood supply. A small catheter is passed across the occluded area inside the brain without opening the skull. The stent retriever is deployed. An aspiration catheter is also there through which aspiration also is done. Following which the blood vessel completely opens restoring the blood supply to that area which has been ischemic. This is one of the magical things that can happen. One of the most gratifying experience both for the treating doctor as well as for the patient. And this is that small clot. It's very surprising that such a small clot in a small blood vessel in the brain can literally devastate the life of a patient. 2015, a landmark year in the as far as stroke treatment is concerned. Five major trials were published back to back in New England Journal of Medicine showing that mechanical thrombectomy or stroke thrombectomy is a highly effective treatment option for patients with acute ischemic stroke. The Society of Vascular and Interventional Neurology SVIN, which has initiated the Mission Thrombectomy 2020 initiative, has announced May 15th as the first annual World Stroke Thrombectomy Day. The Mission Thrombectomy 2020 has the goal of doubling the ratio of thrombectomies or stroke thrombectomies done in each global region all over the world every two years and this goal they intend to achieve by involving the government and the health policy makers to allocate resources to build regional thrombectomy systems and centers of care or centers of excellence and implement regional emergency transportation protocols to identify and triage the patients who might benefit from this treatment and take them to the eligible hospitals where facilities are available. Two, the public should be made aware about this treatment option, how to identify which are the centers they can go immediately because ideally they should reach the hospital as early as possible and undergo this treatment option so that they'll have an excellent outcome. And third, last but not the least, the medical educators or the hospitals and the training universities should rapidly increase the number of trained specialists available to do mechanical thrombectomy. I have been associated with the Society of Vascular Inter and Interventional Neurology United States right from its beginning, uh, from 2006 onwards as a founding active member. India is a vast country, a huge population of more than 1.3 billion and it is estimated that around 15 lakhs, 15 to 20 lakh strokes happen every year. Even with a conservative estimate of maybe 10 to 15 percent of this being due to a large vessel occlusion there are at least 1.5 to 2 2.5 lakh patients with acute ischemic stroke and a severe neurological deficit who might benefit and come back to lead a normal life by this procedure called stroke thrombectomy but unfortunately 
because of many factors which include the lack of awareness among the general public the lack of uh, lack of uh, centers which have the infrastructure and last but not the least the lack of available trained personnel to do the procedure in a nearby center because you cannot go to a uh, hospital which is far away to get this treatment option done so because of this hardly around 2500 to 3000 patients benefit from stroke and thrombectomy in india every year so let's all unite and work towards supporting this world stroke thrombectomy day to create awareness and to come together to develop this treatment option so that more and more patients these unfortunate patients with stroke will benefit from this thank you i am dr jiji kurutukulam i am a stroke and interventional neurologist at rajagiri hospital thank you